Attention focused on recovering from uh, damage from a storm. Talking to our legal analyst Jeff Hosford from Hosford Law Firm. Jeff, great to have you here. Thank you for having me. We've had this conversation before, but it bears repeating in light of what we've been going through over the past several weeks here in our area, and that is recovering after a storm when you have contractors coming around to help you in that effort. Be careful, right? Yes, obviously, anytime there's a hurricane, tornado, or some natural disaster, it not only brings in local contractors, but it brings in out-of-town contractors. And some of those contractors aren't the most honest individuals. So what I would tell anyone is to verify that they have a license and get some background information about who you're working with and what they've done in the past. I've gotten some mail out recently, uh, really since the storm in Octibaha County on Saturday. Very quickly, mail outs came from contractors offering to help. Um, or, or to actually offering their services, obviously, to be paid. So is there a way, really, to distinguish what's reputable and what's not? How do we do that? Most contractors are licensed, and you can check with the state licensing board to ensure that. The next thing to do is get a contract with that individual and spell out exactly what they're going to do step by step by step, and then you only pay in accordance to what they've completed. So you would never write a check for the total amount before they started. You write a check for a partial amount, and then completion, a partial amount, and then final, you make your final payment to make sure it's completed. If they don't want to work in that fashion, then more than likely my advice would be to move on. Turning over a check from your insurance company, always a no-no. Obviously, turning over the whole check, it, to me, would be a very bad idea um, because then they just could run off and there's really not much you could do except chase them. And a lot of these people that steal the money don't have any way to pay you back. Yeah, and they're gone. All right, Jeff, we appreciate your perspective and advice as always. We'll see you next week. Have me.